Much of the news of the day is focused on what's happening not just in Israel and Gaza, but how the culture and identity wars have been playing out across the nation. Still, there's the ongoing crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border. And Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is meeting with Congress later on today. This is both parties demand answers about the sharp rise in the number of migrants illegally crossing the border into the United States. Tom Dempsey has been following this one closely and joins us now live from Washington, D.C. with the very latest. Tom. Good morning, Mark. Yeah, in just a few hours, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas will be here on Capitol Hill as both Republicans and some Democrats really want some answers as to what's happening along the border. In fact, sources with Customs and Border Protection tell News Nation that October saw one of the highest numbers ever for encounters along the southern border. So with today's hearing happening, it's going to be in front of a Senate committee. Uh, Secretary Mayorkas is going to be focusing on the federal budget and spending when it comes to border security. Security. But take a look at some of the recent data from U.S. Customs and Border Protection. This past September saw over 260,000 encounters along the southern border, the highest monthly total ever recorded. In total, the southern border saw over 2.4 million encounters over the last fiscal year. And this past October, over 240,000 people crossed into the U.S. from the south. The northern border may also be part of today's hearing as well. Senator Jean Shaheen a Democrat from New Hampshire, uh, sits on the committee holding this hearing, and she's raised concerns about border encounters at the section which includes the border of New Hampshire and Vermont and parts of New York State. Encounters surged more than six times from fiscal year 2022 to 2023 in that section alone. In a letter to Mayorkas before today's hearing, Shaheen writes, quote, given the unique challenges on the northern border and the sudden increase in encounters this year, attention to the specific needs of this sector is urgently needed. During a separate hearing last week, the Homeland Security Secretary noted the need to prioritize border funding for communities seeing some of the highest numbers of crossings. We do intend to engage extensively with border communities as well as interior cities with respect to the allocation of the funds should Congress um, uh, execute on what we believe is desperately needed and we will be fair and equitable uh, and ensure that the funds are distributed according to where the need is greatest. Also expect President Joe Biden's push for over $10 billion in border security to be part of this hearing. Again, as Republicans and some Democrats really want some answers as to what's happening along the borders, guys. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.